Okay, so I joined See Some Curls Digital Library and started my 30 day hair detox about six and a half weeks ago and uh, I haven't looked back ever since. First, I wanna share a little bit about who's behind the 30 day hair detox and what it's really about. The 30 day hair detox was created by Elise and Aisha who are licensed hairstylists and they are also the co-founders of Black Girl Curls. So this all started back in 2015 when Aisha wrote an article called 10 Things Hairstylists Want You to Stop Doing Right Now. Elise had made a comment that pretty much, I'm paraphrasing here, so that said, stop with the shea butter, the coconut oil, quality product will cost you $15 or more, and a good hairstylist will charge you accordingly. So this all started a whole conversation in the natural hair community that led to another article that they co-wrote called Seven Reasons Why You Need to Stop Using Shea Butter and Coconut Oil in Your Hair and also kick-started the 30-day hair detox. I'll have a link to the Black Girl Curls YouTube channel and the video where they talk about this way more in detail. So what exactly is the 30-day hair detox? I want to start first with what it is not. It is not a no oil, or no butter challenge, a three-step method, a trend, a quick fix, a cult. No, it's not. The 30-day hair detox challenges you to go 30 days without any raw butter, raw coconut oil, raw castor oil, eco styler or any product that include them in the first five ingredients. It's not about never using any oils or butters, at least in Asia, go in depth into why it's better to have those ingredients formulated into products instead of using them raw. The goal of the 30 day hair detox is to reset your mind and your hair from some of these practices that you've picked up along your natural hair journey that haven't been so great for your hair, it really allows you to have a new relationship, a very close, a new relationship with your hair. And it's truest, rawest, purest form. So you don't have to throw away all of your products. If you have products that meet the criteria for the no shea butter, no coconut, no castor in the first five ingredients, then you can use those. They also have a list um, that, of products that you can use. Secondly, you want to be able to cleanse, condition, and style at least every five to 10 days. It really depends on your lifestyle and your activity level. For example, for me, I have a full-time job, three kids, I barely have time to exercise or even have free time for myself. So <laughs> I was able to do a wash once a week. They do recommend not going more than 10 to 14 days without having a cleanse, conditioning and style. And finally, you wanna have realistic expectations because it's probably gonna take you a while for your hair to become hydrated and for the curls to show up for you so um, definitely give yourself a lot of grace my first takeaway is in order to, for you to be able to do the 30-day hair detox the right way you really have to join the see some curls digital library so i joined for three months which was 105 dollars you can also join for one month, which is $45. And I know for some, that is a lot of money. If you're not able to save up for that money, I would recommend um, joining the Black Girl Curls Instagram and um, joining the YouTube channel and really getting majority of your information from them. You could also follow other people that have done the 30 day hair detox, I would highly recommend that you follow people that have actually joined the See Some Curls Digital Library because then you get more accurate information versus iterations of what people think 
the 30 day hair detox is all about. Another great thing about joining the CSUN Curls digital library is that you'll have access to the CSUN Curls society where you can get questions answered. You can learn from other people that have done the detox. It's been really great for me. I'm still in it. I'm still asking questions because I'm still learning about this whole process. I've only been in it for six weeks. Doing the detox helped me understand that yes, my hair can be hydrated. For so long, I've searched on YouTube, I've tried different regimen, different products that have been recommended to me, trying to get my hair to be hydrated. And it's been such a challenge. And I can say that being in uh, See Some Curls Digital Library and going through the 30 day hair detox, my hair is finally getting to the point of being hydrated. I have a ways to go, but uh, at least I'm getting there. The next takeaway is that my hair routine can be simple. It's so refreshing to know that I can cleanse, condition, and style my hair in a matter of two and a half hours. Now, I'm trying to get to two hours, but you know, <laughs> that's gonna take a little time, but I'm very hopeful that in a couple of weeks, I'll be able to condense everything so I can be in and out with my hair at least 80% dry in two hours. My next point is I get excited about doing my hair. I mean, <laughs> I, I never thought I would even get to that point, but like, okay, I washed my hair today and I'm already looking forward to washing my hair again because I know with each Time I do my hair, it gets better, it gets more hydrated. It's just been wonderful. What can I say? If you're gonna do this challenge, you really have to be open and receptive to change. Even for me, the thought of not using any butters or oils was um, really required a bit of, a, of effort on my part. But I also had noticed that I kind of started pulling away from raw oils because it, I, I noticed that my hair was a bit crispy <laughs> anytime I used it. So I decided why not give it a try? You know, I got nothing to lose doing this. I've tried so many things that YouTube has recommended to me that I was like, well, I could try this and see. And thankfully it's worked great for me. Next, if you're gonna be in this for the long run, you really should partner with the stylist. And Aisha and Elise talk about this. They also have a Cut It Kinky Stylist directory. The directory helps you find somebody in your geographical region and I'll have the link listed um, in the description below. So I unfortunately did not find somebody from the list and traveling to another state is not really an option for me at the moment but I did find a curly stylist that I like. So I'm gonna have my appointment next week. I'm super excited about that. My final thought is I really wish I had found Black Girl Curls in the See Some Curls digital library years ago. It really would have saved me so much headache, so much frustration and so much money, but it's never too late and I'm, I'm happy to have found them now and started on this new journey. So in closing, I want to show you my most recent wash and go. I just finished my six week since starting the 30 day hair detox. And I will insert some pictures of what my first wash and go looked like when I started the 30 day hair detox while I was pregnant. I was just extremely tired and didn't want to deal with my hair. So I did press it a few times, one too many times. So I ended up with some heat damage. Um, I haven't done any direct heat since January. So it's been 10 months now and I haven't done any direct heat, but unfortunately um, I'll have to have it grow out and cut the heat damage pieces, but this is what my 
hair looks like and I'm really loving um, this look on me. Here's the front and here's the back. Thank you for watching and my goal is to be able to share some more videos about my progress and um, experience as I continue on my journey. Um, so I'll have links in the description so you can get more information about Black Girl Curls, See Some Curls, the 30 Day Hair Detox and also links to um, Aisha and um, Elise's Instagram. Um, if you want to get more frequent updates on how my hair is doing, I post more frequently on Instagram because it's way easier than posting on YouTube and editing and all that. So thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.